Hello and welcome back to Mrs. Ogram's Maths. This should be a quick little video on inverse Poisson because there's not an awful lot to it. It's also very similar to what you've done with inverse binomial questions already as well. So we know that the parameters that we need for a Poisson distribution is knowing lambda, which is the average um, amount of instances in a particular interval. Now, if we're given um, an inverse problem, it means that we are, instead of being told what lambda is and work out a probability, we're told a probability and we need to work out lambda. So we're going backwards on it to how we normally would. So a recap of the formula is this here. So um, this is our formula for working out the probabilities on a, on a Poisson distribution. So you know lambda, you do it to the power of the value that you're working out that probability at. Um, you multiply it by e to the minus lambda and divide by x factorial, the value of the probability you're working out. Okay, so um, what if we needed to work backwards on that? Now, like the binomial inverse questions you've seen already, we can only work backwards through this if we can um, eliminate some of these terms. There's just too much going on. So the only way this is going to work is if we have the probability of x equals 0. And the probability of x equals 0, of course, is working out the chance of no instances of whatever the thing is that we're counting. So let me show you how that can work so we could work out lambda. So if this was working out the probability that x equals 0, this would be 0, and so would this. Now, anything to the power of 0 just becomes 1, and 0 factorial is also 1. So we end up with it just being equal to e to the minus lambda. So e to the minus lambda becomes equal to our probability that x equals 0, and that is much, much easier to solve. So let's take a look at an example. So our example is that on a one kilometre stretch of road, the chance of finding at least one pothole is 99%. Calculate the average number of potholes per kilometre. OK, so if the chance of at least one pothole is 99%, then we can work out the probability of there being no potholes as being 1%. So it's opposite, or 0.01. Because remember, we need to get down to this x equals 0 probability to be able to use our formula. So then if, if that's our formula, we then get that e to the minus lambda is equal to 0.01. And from there, we can pop this into equation solver on our calculator, or we can solve it algebraically. So at this point here, if you have a graphics calculator, you can use equation solver. I am going to show you algebraically, but it's not necessary if you're allowed a graphics calculator on these questions. So solving it through algebraically looks like this. Um, to undo e, we do natural log of both sides. So we get negative lambda equals the natural log of 0.01. So lambda, popping that into the question, into our calculator, is 4.61 potholes per kilometre. 